Can we just give flashing neon signage a moment to live in the sun? Like this is so fun. Thank Vegas. Um, so this is our, you know, how to on how we kind of create this, um, I guess, flashing call out word just by using show it with no code. So to do this, it's going to kind of utilize um, canvas views and it's going to utilize our little cheat by using um, a link to kind of create this, you know, extra color. And our styling is going to be a little bit different than kind of how you have it if you were going to do a pre-made style. So to do this, um, let me just copy some text. And then, you know, we're going to have to duplicate kind of this view every single time we want to make a text transition. So if you only have two words that were stand out, you'd only have, you know, two canvas views. But if you're going down it, you can kind of see that we are highlighting and hyperlinking kind of each word and line as we go. So if we go fast and you can kind of see kind of how we're doing this. All right. So what you want to do is you want to add in a new canvas, or if you have a pre-designed canvas, um, you could easily do this as well with, you know, kind of stuff that's on here. So um, for this sake, we're going to go ahead and use my headline right here. Um, so now I kind of have it in my mind where... Um, every word will change instead of in the preview where, you know, one kind of line had changed. So what I want to do is I kind of want to set up the base for this to start. So kind of design it how you want it to look on every single, um, just down to every single thing, because this is something we will be duplicating. Um, and there's nothing worse than kind of like realizing you missed one tiny thing and then you have to go back <laughs> and delete all your work because couldn't be me. I've never been there before. No, I have. Um, okay, so this is kind of like how I want it to look. And actually, let me just go ahead and be OCD for a second. Okay, um, so now I want every single word to kind of rotate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and create create my first canvas view and we'll just go ahead and call this you know highlighted word one I like to go dash one because it kind of sets it up so that way any anyone you duplicate after this will be like dash two dash three dash three and you know it's kind of just easier on me all right so I only need my um my kind of heading or headline in this this canvas right here. Um, I mean, because you could easily have, you know, some imagery down here. And we don't really want to have to duplicate that many times. Um, just because if we wanted to change up the image, then we are currently having to change the image, you know, on one, two, three, four canvases. I mean, if your headline gets longer than... It just gets very tedious. <laughs> so just make sure if, you know, you have an image or if you have other text on here that we're only putting kind of like the things that we want to rotate within this canvas view. So let me go ahead and just kind of have a good, good view here. Um, and then, you know, I'm just speaking from experience, but it's always good to do your mobile at the same time. <laughs> Okay, so now that I have the style that I want, um, the sizing that I want, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and set kind of the highlight view. So right now, my predetermined styles on my, um, my design settings are as follows, but because I want this to be very flashy, very in your face, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make sure that this is kind of a different color or, you know, if I had a white hover or something. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to also set the same styling for my hover color as well and then make sure that is, you know, the same percentage value. There is no underlining. So that way if 
my mouse were to hover over it when it's flashing, I won't get kind of, you know, any kind of glitchy effect. So um, you'll want to do this for, I mean, if you have one line, then you'll only have to do this once, but you'll want to do this for the mobile and for um, your desktop for each. Okay. So once you have the first canvas view set up, you won't have to do this again. Um, it's kind of just the legwork you have to put in to set it up. Um, hello, this is, that's fine. Um, okay, so now um, I am going to kind of set it so that way when they land on this section, it's already going to be flashing. So what I'm going to do is in the highlighted word one, I'm going to only select the first word and I'm going to go ahead and set a link on here. I'm just going to do it to canvas and this canvas. This kind of prevents it from, if they were to select it, from glitching. So I'm going to save it. So now automatically you can kind of see that um, my one word has changed and then, um, okay, you can see right here we have a hover set on it. So just make sure, you know, that this is all set up prior. Okay, so we have one done. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to my canvas view and duplicate this. And I'm going to do this word by word so that way I'm not having to kind of, um, kind of do too much. So I'm going to select that first word that I had linked. I'm going to unlink it and link up the second word. So I'm going to link it to canvas, this canvas, and save. Okay, so now when we preview it, um, there will be nothing happening yet. Okay, because once we have them all done, we need to set up a transition. So I'm going to go ahead and keep duplicating these down the row. Um, unlink this one, link this one. So this can be a little bit of a repetitive process, um, especially <laughs> if you choose to have so many words. Um, yeah, it can get a little bit time consuming. But for sake of example, um, we'll just go ahead and do it this way. Okay, so now once you're going through one, two, oops, three and four. Okay, so we kind of have like our flashing neon signage all prepared. And now what we want to do is we want to set up a transition um, to kind of auto advanced these views for us. And because um, we want it to kind of flash as we go, we want it to be fast because if it was slow, you know, it would take three seconds and then it would have to go to the next one. And by that point, I've already scrolled. So what you want to do is you want to keep this semi-small so you can start at 0.25 and see, do you like that speed? Is it going fast enough? Do you like how it fades? Do we need to kind of adjust anything or is it just going way too fast? So kind of like here's where you could easily adjust it. Since we've already built these out, now we can really start to, you know, hone in on how we want these. So you could even set these to none so they do not fade and they just kind of blink. So this is kind of how we like to do this. And um, you could easily, um, instead of making each word, what we done for the demo is we have selected all of them. So you could go canvas, this canvas, so it automatically has that highlighted neon word. And then I'm just going to go ahead and copy this one and just paste it on here. So let's say I wanted those to blink in two different colors. So I would just adjust um, my link text. And also over here is you'll just want to adjust those colors. And if you kind of want it to flash for a couple of seconds on one highlight, as we did in the demo, what I did was I went up to my other color and I just duplicated this, dragged it below, and then you'll copy your purple one, duplicate it and drag it. So now once we preview it, you're going to rotate through the top two and then blink on the last one. And then it will keep kind of going at this speed. So that's how we do it.